Hebrews chapter 11, verse 3. It is by faith that we understand that the universe was created by God's word, so that what can be seen was made out of what cannot be seen. End quote. Was the word fish? The word was ignite. And the story of Cain and Abel has more to do with our coming out of our animal ways of hunting and gathering to grazing and farming. We have taken it far too far, spilt far too much blood. Verse 18. God had said to him, It is through Isaac that you will have the descendants I promise. End quote. This is a little ironic. Abe had a kid with his maid. Then he whored his wife, half-sister, Sarah, to an Egyptian king. Isaac was not Abe's son, and it was Abe that wanted to kill him and burn him and smash his bones and burn him and throw his ashes to the wind. And God, who may have been a man, told Abe, You kill my son, and I'll rip your head off and ram it down your throat, in case anyone missed the point. Verse 28. It was faith that made him establish the Passover and order the blood. End quote. No, not faith. Vengeance. Moses was the inbred son and grandson of the Pharaoh, and he was insane and very violent, and he ordered the Passover, the murdering of all firstborn sons, the most vicious crime one can perform, not in faith but in vengeance. Fuck you, father, grandfather. That was a message of Moses that he made clear. Make a make, making a religion out of murder. And the fucking Jews still celebrate this murder feast, in case you missed that point. And I guess I can see now why Hebrews was written. I will not apologize. Verse 32. Should I go on? End quote. Like my cousin always says, never give up. Verse 35. Others, refusing to accept freedom, died under torture in order to be raised to a better life. Some were mo mocked and whipped, and others were put in chains and taken off to prison. They were stoned. They were sawn in two. They were killed by the sword. They went round, end quote. Jesus wept.